Hi everybody. Now we are moving to the second viral disease of cattle that is rinder pest. The rinder pest. It is ancient disease. Rinder pest. Highly contagious infectious viral disease of cattle and buffalo which is eradicated from the world itself. It is eradicated from the world itself now. Also called cattle plague because the number of death or the mortality rate was very very high almost in uh, early 1800s nearly 96 percentage of mortality rate was present and also called steppe murine this is not an english word but this is a different word fever lymphopenia erosions and necrosis throughout the GI tract leading to severe diarrhea and dehydration is the main factor high morbidity that means the chance of getting the disease is very high and the mortality or the death due to this disease is also very high and it was eradicated in june 1995 from india now we move to the causative agent the agent is paramyxoviridae paramyxoviridae which is an rna family morbili virus genus more i've got a small mistake in the morbili i'm sorry with this morbili virus genus and spelling is morbili not morbili sorry guys and the virus is rinderpest virus it is epitheliotropic means it is having a love towards the epithelium or the epithelium of mucosal membrane respiratory gi tract keratinized stratified squamous epithelium is not affected that means skin is not affected in render pest also lymphotropic that means wbc cells they get affected the virus is a single stranded enveloped rna virus these can be inactivated by lipid solvents even sunlight drying and putrefaction since it is a paramyx over today it is antigenically related to the canine distemper, which is also a morbidly virus, PPR virus of gods, which is also known as the render pest of small animals, and measles virus of humans. Since all are present in the morbidly virus genus, they are antigenically related, means they have some common antigenic determinants on their outer surface. Single serotype and lifelong protection by vaccination. That is no chance of variation in the disease produced by the serotypes okay we have single serotype here now we move to the susceptible host who can get the disease even toad anglers belong to the order archidactyla by the cat and buffalo domestic buffaloes many other animals including the large antelope deer giraffes bath hogs etc can get the disease transmission and route of infection since these are paramyxoviruses all secretions and excretions contains virus particles and also mechanical transmission um, is not possible because the virus is very fragile means even hard surfaces or the sunlight can kill the virus so mechanical or formal transmission is less in case of render pest but animal secretions when come in contact with uh, another animal's feed or silage particles etc this can trans once render pest has come and the animal has not got death from this that means the animal has become immune to the disease then it will be very healthy and second chance of getting an render pest infection is very low incubation period that is six to nine days but it can range from three to 15 days and the dose of virus route of exposure and the health state of animal will depend the incubation period Mild forms of the disease can have incubation period up to one to two weeks, and they won't cause much problem problems in the intestine and liver. OIE has established maximum incubation period of 21 days for zoo sanitary measures and quarantine period. Pathogenesis. Now we move to the most important part of any disease that is the pathogenesis through inhalation or ingestion. Virus get into the body of animals. Initial replication in the tonsils and regional lymph nodes. And they produce numerous copies of viruses. Now, lymphocyte associated viremia. That means the presence of more amount of or more copies of virus in the lymph node will lead to the dissemination of virus into the lymphatics. And then directly the lymphatics will drain to the venous system. So, the systemic circulation has got copies of virus. which is known as viremia. This leads to pyrexia. Initial localization and replication in the lymphoid tissues, then eventually they go and localize in the GI tract, gastrointestinal tract mainly, 
and to a lesser extent they move to the respiratory tract but in the upper respiratory tract they will be producing more lesions and many many problems now we move to the clinical signs marked lymphopenia that means the decreased level of wbc due to viral attack whenever a virus is present inside a wbc the other wbc recognizes as the previous wbc as an antigen and engulfs the previous wbc so the amount of wbc present over a small area decreases by time so in clinical sciences prolongs as four phases we can see the four phases here first is prodromal phase or it is the fever phase it is exactly due to the pyre pyrexia and the viremia photophobia dryness of muscle mucopurulent discharge through the nasal surfaces mucoid to serous lesions respiratory rate become shallow high temperature will occur nasal discharge etc then the one is mucosal erosive phase we can get the meaning from the word itself mucosa erosive that means the non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium of oral cavity will show erosions which later will form fibronectric fibrinonecrotic pseudomembranous bran like deposition similar lesions will be seen on the nasal mucosa on the dorsum of the tongue and in the vulva etc the vesicles will not be formed at any stage like if the vesicles will not be formed here vesicles will be formed like it will be the blasted stage will be seen mostly the bursted or blasted stage will be seen so we will be thinking that the blister has burst out diarrhic phases diarrhic phase means due to the abnormal problems happening in the intestinal flora and the ele electrolyte imbalances happening in the intestinal flora the animals turn into diarrhic temperature falls diarrhea initially copious and later turns dysenteric due to the presence of blood particles by breaking the intestinal cells the dark and fluid pieces contain excess mucus and shreds of epithelium so the pieces may contain viruses necrotic debris streaked with dark blood dysenteric death and this is the stage of death if at all the diary is very high and prolongs for long duration extreme dehydration occurs and hypovolemic shock occurs and the cause of the hypovolemic shock severe abdominal pain will be there hind quarters and flanks are soiled with fetal fitted fluid feces etc the last phase is the phase of convalescence if at all the animal is surviving is prolonged they return to full health will take uh, two to three weeks but they will be having a high immunogenic activities inside the body if at all there are pregnant animals they will about for sure now we move to the macroscopic lesions carcass is dehydrated due to dysenteria and diarrhea emaciated soil and fit numerous coalescing and linear erosions in the ventral surface of free parts of tongue um, and also in the intestinal lesions non glandular for stomach free of erosions but folds of glandular omasum congested now the pears patches are swollen and black from hemorrhage now in the large intestine we can find the zebra strippy due to the parallel streaks of erosions present in the large intestine zebra type lesion or zebra striping lesions are present numerous stripes of hemorrhage extend from the blind sac of cecum to the anus and the rectum area and the nasal turbinates and laryngeal mucosa also may show hemorrhages moving to the microscopic lesions since it is paravisovirus we can see intranuclear and intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies and necrosis of endrocytes in the trips and leukotriplibercule and villus along the formation of multinucleate syncytial mass due to the fusion protein of morbidly virus multinucleate syncytial mass we have discussed this crater like ulcers overlying the mucosa leading to deep crater like ulcers when we found on the intestinal wall now these are the main lesions found in ventral tract this is the zebra like strippings now we move to the diagnosis first will be the tentative diagnosis that is from the clinical signs postmortem lesions history if at all it is not dead history now the lab 
test or microbiological lab test, AGID, CFT, LISA, PCR, RT, PCR, etc. Now we move to differential diagnosis. PPR, infectious bovine rhinotrachitis, FMD, malignant catarrhal fever. Thank you.